Hello, hello. <laughs> we're back. We're back, baby. Mortimer, we're back. How are you guys doing today? Little um, dating channel. I, I was supposed to go. I wasn't supposed to. I mentioned going uh, live yesterday. I didn't because I had a date with Complex lady she's a very lovely lady we had a wonderful time took her out showed her a good time took her out to eat you know the it the the definite you know way you should take somebody out you know dinner walk around nice area talk good times good times and um i'm not going to give too many details because just like i kind of said before if i'm dating somebody and it's going well we keep personal life personal you know what i mean we keep personal stuff personal but the funny thing about dating in general is the stories. Now I've been holding on to this story for a little bit because it was developing. It was a constant developing situation about Colombian girl. I haven't talked to her for a little bit. And then she somehow popped up maybe about a couple weeks ago and she started hinting at, you know, basically life is spiraling out of control with her. And I'll give you the rundown, I have the receipts. It's a good time. It's a good read. It's a good listen, in my opinion. Guys, the irony, the 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 the, the karma, everything that I always said can happen, did happen to her. And I'll tell you what's going on. But anyway, uh, I do have to thank Tony. Tony was the one that pretty much brought um, the complex woman into my life. And uh, it's going really well. I mean, uh, the date went extremely well and things are developing super nice. But before we get into the story about the Colombian girl pretty much losing her shit, um, I'm going to say hi to the people here and uh, get after. By the way, I really want to thank you guys. Uh, we have crested, reached uh, over 4,000 subscribers, which in the grand scheme of things, it doesn't seem like much. But for this channel, the amount of effort we put on it and the type of content that's in it, um, it's pretty amazing to be able to get 4,000 subscribers and just keep it chugging, get you guys dating stories, dating um, advice, experiences from the, you know, uh, standpoint or the viewpoint of a 43 year old Hispanic male living in South Florida. So let's say hi to the people that are on and we'll start talking shit about Colombian woman gets called out by her own family while dating on a visa. Now I'm not like other channels where they string out the bullshit for a long time. I'm going to get right to it. And if you miss it, you miss it. So the guys that get here early, they get the benefit. We got Lionel Lad says, what's up, everyone? Israel Rios, Jose Tamayo, Nick Santarpia. What's up, Nick? How are you doing, sir? Uh, 2000 MCR says, how's the family? Matt A says, good evening. Brandon Peter says, ah, shit. Uh, Hot Metal, 524, D-Rock Fox. He goes, I hope everything else complex go. I couldn't go any better. I can't imagine things going any better than it's going with her. Guys, remember, I literally just talked to her at the dog park for hours each time we're out there. And we got to know each other that way, made her comfortable, allowed her to date me and said, oh, I'll, I asked her out officially. She accepted. We went out and it was pretty amazing. Pretty amazing. Good time. Uh, but, you know, it's similar. We, we just basically talked about similar stuff we talked about at the park, except while eating food or hanging out at downtown. Um, good times. Good times. Um, Matthew Warner, Blazing Angel X, Cliff Elmore, Blazing Angel X, nice little Sunday weekend show, smooth, good evening, remember to hit the like button, please guys hit the like button, that is how the channel grows, that is how we make money, that is how the algorithm works, Blaze, I already got Blazing Angel Coyote Fury, Tony is the man, Tony is the man, Tony, to I owe Tony so freaking much, Tyler Hornsby, Matt B.O., Leon Whelan, Street Driven GT500, Jovic, Joe Jackson, Oscar Agueda, D-Rock Fox, right on Alex, says D-Rock Fox, and um, what did he say? Would you ever date or get serious with a girl with a green card? Boy, Oscar Agueda, this story is for you. You're in for a treat. Let's get right to it. No bullshit, no bullshit, no bullshit. Fresh Pastel is talking that shit. So let's remind you about Colombian Girl. Let's give you a rundown, a background. If you're not familiar with Colombian Girl's story, Colombian Girl, meet her, beautiful woman, um, is here on a work visa, was Previously in the Poconos, working at some kind of resort. And then she ended up finding out there's no money up there. It's the Poconos. It sucks. It's wintertime. Let me get down to South Florida where her sister lived. Her sister came here on a work visa, let's say six, seven years ago. She found herself a nice white boy, got married. Boom. She is legal. Now her sister, homegirl, shows up and her sister puts her up in her place puts her up in her place, and I come across her path. 
And she is a very lovely woman. I mean, Colombian women are absolutely stunning. They're gorgeous. They're genetically fucking gifted. Big legs, beautiful face, about five, six, ass, boobies. Yo, dude, she's perfect. She got two kids though. And she's super religious. And I told you guys that she, she started making demands. Demands of a citizen. I am a citizen. How dare you? Saying, if you date me, you got to go to church. Excuse me? So date one, she doesn't drop that bomb. Date one, I take her out to dinner. Show her a good time. Show her a nice place. Have a good conversation. Send her back home. Drive her back home. Port St. Lucie, guys. It's fucking 40 minutes from my shit. Second date, pick her up. Take her out. Show her a good time downtown. Chilling. Have a good conversation. Didn't make out. No nothing. And I'm just like, dude, this is not going well. She's not into me. And again, these are the first two times I've ever met her. Complex girl I've known for a very long time. At this point, it doesn't even feel like a date. It just feels like we're just going to go out to eat. So the Colombian chick by date number three says, by the way, in order for us to go anywhere, meaning before we give get the bechotazo in or anything like that, you're going to have to start going to church with me. And I said, okay, then in order for you to date me, you're going to have to buy a Mustang, build it to be a quarter mile car and hang out with me every weekend. And she goes, that sounds stupid. I go, that sounds stupid. That sounds stupid. But I have to go to church with you in order to go on date number four, maybe get some of the bicho tasso in. Come on, man. I'm not going to fake the bullshit. No freaking way. So I pretty much said, I'm done with this. By date number three, we made out and it sucked. And I'm like, boy, if that's how she makes out, nothing else can be good. And then subsequently during the next two or three days, I kind of started to slowly ghost because I wasn't into her anymore. And she was like, well, what's going on? I don't understand why you're not talking to me. I don't get it. I said, I'm not willing to go to church with you. I'm not willing to do nothing. I'm just, and you're here on a work visa. Why are you dating? You have two kids from two different dads in Colombia. You're here dating on dating apps. What kind of a message are you sending out to people? Guys, it would be different if she had three jobs, working 70 hours a week, making bank, sending money back home, make sure the kids are good, and then setting herself up with paperwork or work status or green cards, something to show me she's here to work. Nope, she's here dating. So it tells me, tells me anyway, or it shows me that she's here just to find a man to get her her papers, right? Fast forward. Couple of weeks ago, I get a message in the middle of the night, guys, in the middle of the night. And I'm going to reference it because, oh, was it juicy and good, guys. Now, in the subsequent couple of days after we stopped talking, she basically notified me that she's talking to someone else. She's talking to someone else because I screwed it up. I screwed up. You messed up. Now I'm talking to someone else, meaning you're out there doing some trifling shit. You got two kids in Colombia. You're out there fucking dating. Okay, sounds good. I don't care. Do you, honey? I get the, uh, I, I blocked her on all platforms except Instagram. And I'm like, fuck, I forgot to block her there. But it was a good thing. It was a good thing that she was not blocked on Instagram because of the following. Hi, I know it's strange for me to write to you in this manner. Even though you talked down to me about my status and intentions on being in the United States. She said it in Spanish, so I'm, I'm uh, loosely translating. She goes, but I really need a favor. I really need a favor from the bottom of my heart. I know that you said not to talk to, not to, talk to you anymore. I told her, don't talk to me. Just get the fuck out of my life. You're just wasting my fucking time. So she goes, I know you told me never to reach out to you again, but... I am looking, I basically, I'm seeking you out, but not in that manner. Think about it, guys. If she would have reached out and be like, yo, I'm looking for that bitch Otaso because I fucked up. I would have been like, that's a good start. But no, she starts with, I'm not looking for you in that manner. So I'm like, okay, I give two fucks now. I don't give two fucks now. So she goes, um, I have a very tough situation that I'm in. I need to get the hell out of my sister's house. Um, I under, I need to find a place of my own near West Palm beach. And I, since I don't know anyone in the area and you do know a lot of people in the area, I would really appreciate if you could look at the fact that I am a single mother trying to make my dreams come true in the United States so that I can at least find my own place and I can, and I can avoid going back to Colombia and starting back from scratch. 
I went, B, you want me to help you? You want me to help you? No, hey, te voy a dar un cantito de toto, un poquito, a little toto on the side, and then you can help me? Nothing. She's just like, I ain't looking at you like that, but I need your help. So I said, what happened? I replied. I said, what happened? She goes, I don't want to talk badly about my sister or anything, but she basically told me that I need to get my own shit, that I'm either going to stay here and I'm not going to, basically her sister said, I don't want you to stay here and have me feel like I'm mothering you where you're going out with guys, you're just dating, you're doing all this stuff and you're not really working and making money. So her sister, guys, is pushing her out of the nest, says, get the fuck to step in, putty, get yourself a job, get your shit straight because you're out there doing some dumb shit. So I said, I need to know exactly what happened because there had to have been an argument, right? I said, what exactly happened? She goes, I don't want to talk badly about my sister remember guys this woman's religious born again virgin type shit two kids from two different dads one was a one night stand comes here on a visa starts working like one day a week then starts dating on match try Flynn so I'm like all right sick badass shit let's see what the deal is she goes but I need to find a place of my own until I under until I can find more work I'd love for I'd love for you to help me find a place and a car if that's not much of a concern Oh, King Petty came out, guys. King Richard Petty, NASCAR forty three came out. I said, if you're still hey, if you if we were still dating, you could just stay with me, but we're not. And she goes, well, that would be weird. That would be weird if I stayed with you. I go, not really, because as it is now, I don't think I care that much. But if we were dating and you were coming across this situation, life would be different. If I were you, I would go back to Colombia. She says, you're not willing to help me, a single mother trying to make it in the United States? You're basically, uh, her name is not Martha Joy G. Um, you're basically telling me that basically go F myself because it didn't work out with us? I go, no, I'm saying I don't care. I'm saying I do not need to be in your wavelength. I don't need to be in your life. You should not be reaching out to me. If you're out there dating other dudes, why aren't you reaching out to them? And not only did I set the trap nicely, but she stepped in it like a fucking dumbass. She goes, I actually am talking to other dudes and I reached out to them. I just want to make sure that I have, I exercise all my options. I'm like, try Flynn, try Flynn, try Flynn, try Flynn. So I just now start giving one word answers like, okay, let me move over to WhatsApp because the conversation moved over to WhatsApp and that was a good time. She goes, I really appreciate you responding to me. I really need to find a place that's about 300 bucks a month. <laughs> Guys, what can you find in West in Palm Beach County for 300 bucks a month? What can you find? A room? So I said, look, this is one of the most expensive counties everywhere, anywhere. Good luck with 300 bucks a month. She goes, I also need to find a car. Guys, I thought to myself, I put myself in a hypothetical situation. If I was dating this woman, would I go out of my way to set her up because I was dating her? I'm going to be honest with you guys. The answer is probably no. Because I'd been through this before. I'd been through this where sucker ass hoes get a little side puss. And I'm sure she would have slung some puss my way. And then I would have been like, oh, baby, you can. Here's an apartment. Here's a car and pay me when you can. And then that's basically a sugar daddy, sugar baby situation. Interesting stuff. So she basically starts saying, I also need to buy a car. I said, you know how much a car is? Do you know how much insurance is? Do you know how much to register it is? Do you know how much registration is? And you're talking about $350 a month apartment? Girl, you fucking nuts. I said, the only thing you'll be able to find is a room. I don't want a room. I want my own place. And then I reminded her, if you were still talking to me and didn't do that church bullshit, you'd probably be in a better situation. So then I said, if I were you, honey, I would reach out to the other guys and see if they can set you up because I'm not the guy. I'm dating somebody. Things are going well. I shouldn't really, I shouldn't, oh, I'm, I was talking to somebody at that point because it was two weeks ago. She goes, I said, I'm talking to somebody and I really shouldn't be talking to you because nothing's going to happen between us and I don't know you that well and you kind of fucked this up. 
Because you're out there dating dudes while you should be working. And why is her sister kicking her out? Her sister probably started seeing this girl going, bitch, don't pay rent. Bitch, don't do nothing. And she's going out with all different type of dudes all the time. And what the fuck are we? What are we, just some free room and board type situation while she has guys in and out of this area and we're out there busting her ass trying to make it happen, trying to make the American dream happen and this chick is out here living the high life off of our backs. So her sister checked her ass. Her sister checked her ass and said, that's enough. Go get your own shit. Sacabo el party. Sacabo el party. So I basically told her, look, you obviously, me being misreligious, you obviously have had some dis like uh, dis disagreements with your sister. If I were you, I would pray that the Lord would fix you up with an apartment and a car. Because if it's meant to be, the Lord will take care of all. Good luck. And you know what she said? Vete al carajo. Go to hell. <laughs> Go to hell. And then I just didn't reply anymore. And then I got... These, I'm gonna say, I don't want to, I don't want to show her number, but then I got just a whole, damn it. I don't want to show the number. Yeah, yeah. Then I got basically a bunch of, brrr, this is her, her replying to something I said, boom, 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 boom. And I just have not replied. I left that bit on red because she now has to come to the realization that she probably has to go back to Colombia because she came up here instead of concentrating on work, concentrating on her money, concentrating on making sure the kids are in a good situation when she gets established up here. She was out there dating, trying to find Papi Chulo to try to wife her up. And the sister said, enough is enough. Good, good shit. Now, karma is a bitch like that. But I don't really like saying karma is a bitch. What I prefer to say is, the way you move by the right man is judged appropriately. Guys, do not fall into the pussy fog. This girl is a an eight. This girl's an eight, maybe a nine. She is a very attractive woman. I, at times, thought to myself, holy shit, how did I land this type of woman, right? But obviously, you don't show that kind of simp mentality. You just kind of, you know, do your thing and just act appropriately. But this girl was moving weird guys look at how people move not necessarily how they look look at how they move what the decisions they make ask the right questions okay and when i started asking all those right questions i'm like how long have you been here are you working how much money do you make your kids are in colombia you have two kids from two different dads of course she waits till date number three to tell me that a phone call that was my fault a phone call would have figured that out. I would have figured that out in a phone call. I would have never wasted my time on those three dates. But then I wouldn't have had the juicy details I'm giving you guys now when it comes to this woman. So when it comes to Colombian women in Florida, guys, I have not had a good experience with someone that comes here illegally or with a work visa come here and they just put their head down and go to work. No, they put their head down on a guy's lap and suck the bitch out and hope that they get some papers. So imagine how many dicks she's gone through, how many laps she's had her head bobbing up and down playing Bob, you know, bobbing for apples on a guy's lap. While she's been here, instead of just concentrating on work, the work visa, getting established, getting everything good, the legal way, because that's difficult. The easy way is to suck the bitch out. But I must say, her sister was a bad example. Her sister came here to work, found a white dude. They didn't even understand each other. They talked through the translation app. Let me look up the translation app, guys. The translation app is hilarious. Let me see. Translate. Okay. So I could imagine what she was saying to him and what he was hearing. So let me see. She must have been saying Spanish to English. So let's say um, Spanish to English. Let's say she says some shit like, Quiero casarme contigo para los papeles para ser ciudadana. <laughs> okay, in English. So, <laughs> here we go. How do I, here we go. I want to marry you for the papers to become a citizen. Okay. <laughs> that's, that's how they talk to each other guys so you see that a lot on dates if you go out enough you see two people in front of each other translating shit to each other so i would say so <laughs> let me switch it around let me see um 
<laughs> okay. I'll marry you if you suck my dick five times a week, cook and clean for me, and once in a while, give me your butthole. Okay. Okay. Quiero casarme contigo para los me casaré contigo si me chupas la polla cinco veces a la semana cocina y limpia para mí y de vez en cuando dame tu ojete papeles para hacer ciudadana. <laughs> Dude, that's literally how the dates go on here. She says that's how they met. That's how they communicated. It must have been the most ridiculous way of talking to each other. Just most ridiculous way of talking to, and getting to know each other. Hi, how are you? And it's like Google voice is the voice that you hear in your head when it comes to these people. Just some trifling ass shit. And her sister set the bad example. The sister set the bad example because she ended up with a house, a good situation, a good job, a white dude. And she is better looking than her sister. Her sister is better looking than her. So she was able to make it happen and she saw that as a bad example and she's now kicking her sister out of the house for trying to do the exact same thing she did. The irony, the karma, the weird way people are moving absolutely blows my mind. What do you guys think of that situation? Have you been in a situation like that where someone has absolutely come here to get their papers? Then they got to eat crow and hit up a guy like me that's like, bitch, say, get the fuck out of here or I'm, I'm going to fuck you out right now, motherfucker. I said, no, you got to go, baby. You, I hope everything works out for you. I hope everything is well. But at the end of the day, I got to give you the Canelo. Oh, it's not here. Where's Canelo? Hey, get the fuck out of here because I'm, I'm going to fuck you out right now, motherfucker. Just like that. Oscar Aguero says, yep, that's what I've heard also. Glad you confirmed it. There have been people on dates moving in fucked up ways. And for those of you that don't know English, I'm sorry, Spanish, Literally sounds like this. Um, let me see. This English or Spanish. Tap to enter. Let me just uh, delete. How do you delete? Okay, okay. Um, let me see. What What did she say to me that made me laugh so much? Ah. Oh. Tengo dos hijos. Uno tiene 21 años. El otro fue... De un hombre que conocí en una barra mientras le mamé el pito... Y después cuando me se, lo metió en mi chocha, se vino bien rápido y, me, y caí preñada. I have two children. One is 21 years old. The other belonged to a man I met in a bar while I sucked his cock. And then when he put it in my cock, he came very quickly and pregnant. <laughs> Imagine that's the shit they're saying, dude. It is ridiculous, ridiculous. I mean, that's basically what she said to me. And that's the translation I heard. I went, oh my God, <laughs> he stuck his cock in my cock? <laughs> Bro, I, I mean, the karma train was fucking rolling, fuck, just doing its thing. And I was like, girl, you're fucked. You're fucked. You made your bed. Now you got to sleep in that shit. Dude, does Complex Girl watch this show? Um, Look, that's going to be a funny conversation. I think, she, no, she does not watch this show. But, you know, I haven't said anything. I haven't dated anyone while I got to know her. The moment I met that girl, I haven't dated anybody. It's been all about her. Anything that happened before her, it, I've been pretty straightforward with the girl. Uh, JD Swag says, geez, Alex, early show. Look, I wanted to make sure that I was free at nighttime because me and this girl are getting along really good. And I want to make sure I'm free and available. But I also want to get the live streams in. So, hey, there's 91 people on. Why not? Why not? Um, I feel like I'm in Spanish class. I'm telling you, dude, the way people are moving nowadays, the, 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 the stupid uh, uh, dating methods people are doing now where they're just dating through apps. Like, how can you get to know somebody through a, a translation app? How do you get to know somebody with the nuances, with the way they speak, the sarcasm? Complex Girl knows great Spanish and great English. And I was just like, oh, my, I could just talk to her. I don't have to wonder if what I'm saying is her type of Spanish. And with the, any Colombian girl I've met here, like, like this is the most crazy thing. Every single time I have said to a woman, tu me caes bien. Like, I like you. That literally means I like you. But in Colombian, Guatemalan, Uruguayan, or whatever, they go, that means I like you in a friend form. I go, 
No, that just means I like you. Tú me caes bien. But then they want to hear, tú me gustas, which in my mind doesn't make any freaking sense. Tú me gustas? That's tú me caes bien. Is exactly the same shit. But they take it as offensive when I say, hey, I like you. I'd like to hang out with you some more. And they go, tú me gustas? What am I, like your friend? Like your, like your cousin? I was like, oh, I just can't. I just don't care. I need to just have an English first speaking person to make my life easier. May I see your party papers? <laughs> Meanwhile, get some likes up too, guys. Guys, the likes are up. So I don't know what you guys are seeing. The likes are 81 on my end. So if you guys are seeing something else on your end, guys, you need to relax with that. Get the likes up. I only see 12 likes on my end. The likes are 81 to 86 viewers, guys. So it's fine. Relax, relax, relax. I love you guys. Um, when is Complex Girl going to drive the red car? Well, today she drove the truck. Today she drove the truck. I The, uh, the Fairmont. <sighs> fucking Fairmont, dude. It's like dirty, dirty. And I said, let me take it to the car wash. Took it to the car wash and I didn't have the battery terminal terminal on really tight and it just stalled on me. And I was I had it running in the in the car wash. And I guess I must have sprayed the cold air by the grill. Shut off. I went to turn it on. No battery. So I walked back because it wasn't far from my house. And she texted me. She goes, What are you doing? I'm like, oh, I gotta I gotta get the fairmont going. She goes, I'll come, I'll come with. And I'm like, Okay, you mind driving the truck? She goes, got it. She's a little thing. She's even she five three. So I'm like, all right, go drive the truck. And she got in the truck. I didn't have to no special instructions, no one. And she drove pretty goddamn great with confidence. And I'm like, boy, shit. She goes, I like that truck. I'm like, damn it. Now I gotta keep the truck. <laughs> she goes, I like the truck. It's tall. I feel like in charge. And I'm like, oh, now I gotta keep the truck. Um, nice. Another stream says Junior Garza. Damn, Alex Fallen. Good shit, man. No, she's good people, man. She's good people. But guys, that Colombian girl situation blew my freaking mind that she had to revert to talking to a guy that called her out on her bullshit, literally read her the riot act about how she's moving, what she's doing, how women like her come to this country and look for papers from good dudes. And I'm her last resort. I'm her last hope. I am the only shot she has to get her papers straight. And I thought to myself, that's nuts. How, imagine the desperation. Imagine I'm in another country. Imagine you're in another country, guys. Imagine you're in another country and you meet a girl and you're playing the field. You're, you're moving weird, right? And she goes, you're a fucking pig. Fuck you. I hate you. You suck. I hate your guts. Get the fuck out of here or I'm, I'm going to fuck you up right now, motherfucker. And you then... Run out of options, and that girl is your last hope of staying in that country. Oof. Go back to Colombia. Start over again. Get your visa re-upped. And three or four years, you're good. Because her last two relationships were American dudes that never wifed her up. One was in the Navy, lived full-time like in Costa Rica. And the other guy lived here and would visit her periodically, split act and bounce. And I'm like, oh, my God. I'm not going to wife her up. She moves fucked up. Shit, I'm trying to get back in the Fairmont. <laughs> Damn, I'm 5'3", so you're expecting that big fupa, huh? <laughs> now, she's 5'3", and she is pretty awesome. You guys are going to think, like, Alex, she looks really, really young. And I'm like, yeah, well, she is really, really young. <laughs> so, look, if I can attract someone that young that is is moving the way she's moving, moving, she's a lady, guys. She is a lady. She's moving like a lady, so you got to treat her like a lady. And it's a nice look to be able to Take all of your experiences, everything you've experienced throughout life, and give it to someone worthwhile. So far, look, it could all fall apart in a month, and I could be back. Hey guys, I'm back on the market, and I bang fifteen, uh, I bang fifteen, uh, fifty year olds. But I don't want to go back to that shit because that is some an empty way of living. Um, all right, I see you in the morning, cause this is my go to drive to work entertainment. Junior Garza, see you tomorrow morning. You're gonna love it. It's gonna be a good time. Great to see you talking very cheerful about the girl and the spark in your eyes. Oh, you're looking at my eyes, JD Swag. You're weird. Assuming complex chick is into cars a bit. So, no. <clears throat> I, I can't give up too much, guys, because, you know, it's got to stay personal. But um, she likes my cars. Let's just say that. She likes my car. She was like, wow, okay, like, this truck is badass. And then um, I had to get fuel because I thought the Fairmont was out of fuel. So I brought cables and fuel and the fuel jugs just happened to be in the garage where the gt500 is at and she's looking at the car she's like what the fuck is this and i'm like oh it's the gt500 she goes i think i've seen it once or twice it's really loud isn't it i go yep she goes wow it's really pretty i'm like yeah it's a nice car then she wasn't like oh my god get me. she was just like wow cool car 
that's it. So to say she's into cars, I wouldn't say she's into cars, but she appreciates the ones I do have. She loved the fair mom. She thought that's a, she goes, Oh, this is a fair mom. She goes, wow. And then she heard it run and she's like, this thing's loud. I'm like, yeah, it's, it's pretty badass, right? <laughs> she definitely needs to go back to Columbia with her kids. That's what I said. Coyote Kelly, Coyote Kelly. She needs to go back to Columbia and take care of her kids. Go back to work. Sorry. COVID is fucked up. Sorry that your gym didn't work out. But the way you came up here, was not to look for work. You came up here to look for a boyfriend. And you could do that from Colombia. Colombian women. Hi, how you doing, Colombian women? You can do that from Colombia. You can find a sucker asshole from uh, Florida, and he can set up the K-1 visa, do the 90-day fiancé thing, and do it up that way. Don't come here, waste mine and your time, getting splick act all over town, getting run through, bodied up, and then expect for a guy to go to church and, and this and get the fuck out of here. By the way, I got another message from a girl, right, that I just wasn't feeling. I dated her about a month back, wasn't really feeling. I was like, okay, you know, she seems like a nice girl, but the situation isn't right for me. This is why, guys, I'm the hot chick in that relationship. In that aspect, I'm the hot chick. I'm the prize. For you to get my attention, you ladies have to work harder. But in her eyes, she thought I was afraid to date a strong, independent, modern woman, alpha female. I'm like, B, you are the least alpha female I've ever met. If you look at that person's past, they have chosen terrible men and the men have just been bad to the person. I'm like, how are you an alpha female if you're choosing dumbass dude? So she didn't like the fact that I kind of just trailed off because look, it's one thing to ghost. It's another thing to trail off. It's like a semi ghost like Patrick Swayze did to Demi Moore. He, he died, right? But then he came back and kind of like hung out a little bit. And then he was like, all right, then Whoopi Goldberg communicate with the, with the chick and was able to get clarity and uh, <laughs> watch the movie ghost. It's good. <clears throat> so I just kind of slowly reverted back because I wasn't feeling that she was chasing me enough. I'm the prize in this situation. You come to me and hang out. You hit me up in the morning. You say hello and I'll reciprocate. And that's the way I was going to run that relationship if it happened. I am establishing ground rules. She wasn't going to play that game. Cool. Then I'm going to dip out. Then she sends me a message. She goes, a little introspection for you. You, sh you know, you, you are afraid to date an alpha woman. And I'm like, no. I'm just not willing to date you. That's all. No big deal. Because the situation has to be right for me. I'm the hot chick in that situation. You didn't recognize it? Back to the single life with you. And it was a, it, it, it allowed me to open my schedule up and me and Complex Girl got along wonderfully. <clears throat> Have you had the talk with her about having kids? Yep. Within the first uh, two or three conversations, we're on the same page. But again, we both recognize that her mind can change because she's young. They did my boy Mike Dirty at 90 Day Fiancé. Tell me how he met a Colombian chick on the international dating app and has been communicating with her through a translation app. Exactly. Mike, you mean the Mike, the guy Mike that met Jimena? If you guys watch 90 Day Fiancé, he went down there. I think it's Mike. And uh, he met a girl named Jimena. But then there's another dude, a skinny ass dumbass that went to Bucaramanga and met a stupid, beautiful woman, but bougie and demanding as hell. Colombian women have the nerve of being bougie and bossy. Who the fuck are you? I'm a citizen. I'm a citizen of the United motherfucking states. Recognized, bitch. Shit. I am <laughs> by birthright. Do you know what I'm saying? And you're going to be bougie? No, no, no. You want to get in on this train. You want to hop on this train. I don't want to hop on that train. So you, you come correct. And this girl was just like, demanding and snapping her fingers and we going to church and i'm like get the fuck out of here you're doing what i want you to do i'm the citizen i'm the prize what's wrong with you what's so strong about hey i know you said not to talk to you but i need a favor dude so crazy hey i know you said never to talk to you again and never reach out to you but i need a favor could you imagine She'll probably end up on the Midnight Express for 300 bichotazos a month. <laughs> oh, what happened to the other chick you were talking to? Um, Colombian chick went away, uh, met a girl at a, at a club. Um, I wasn't feeling her because her schedule super jacked up. And um, all along, I was kind of just, you know, 
more concentrating on the girl I, I met here. And I'm like, man, she, the girls that I was seeing and, and met once or twice, it just, I didn't see a future with them. Remember, I was talking about dating with a purpose. And what is the purpose? I want to establish a relationship with someone eventually. And all these girls that I was meeting were the same Florida types that love to just waste your time. And you're just an option on their Rolodex or their phone. And I'm like, I don't want to be that fucking guy. I'd rather keep it tight and just talk to someone that I think is worth the effort. And I think I found that woman. <clears throat> was maintenance girl Columbia's with papers or was she illegal too? She was here with papers and she became legal. Here with papers became legal. Any chances of getting complex girl or any other female guest in the show? I don't think so. I'm not even going to broach that subject because I don't want to make it look like I'm using her for content. That's kind of, again, guys, personal relationships just stay personal. Like you probably never see anything about her. I keep things tight when it comes to women that are in my life. Um, and I don't want to like put it out there. Now, remember, guys, I told you that my ex didn't like the fact that I didn't scream from the rooftops that I was with her. She had an issue that I didn't like validate our relationship in social media. And I said, honey, if I make it public by showing a picture of you and tagging you on your profile that you and I are an item, you know how many guys are going to hit you up and say, I'm just a piece of shit guys right now, still to this day, maintenance girl gets hit up by, by stalkers that I've never even met or heard of. And they're talking shit about me to her. And I'm like, Whoa, Guys are nuts. Spoiler alert, Alex with ghost. <laughs> um, been my friend since the eighth grade. Oh, that guy? Are you on, were you on the show? That guy was a punk though, right? Wasn't Mike a fucking punk? Leave it to Beaner. Tried to save him, but some lessons got to be learned. No, leave it to Beaner. Your boy was moving super fucked up. If, if it's the guy with Jimena, right? You're talking about the chubby dude? The chubby dude from, I thought he was from Chicago, not New York. Anyway, so that dude, if it's Mike, what he did was this. He got with a girl on a dating app. The girl was obviously catfishing him. I mean, she was very attractive, but she was like plastic as fuck. And at the same time, he was talking to a very wonderful woman named Jimena. So then he goes to Colombia. He meets the super hot chick. The super hot chick is not into him at all. And he, he's going down there with a, with a knapsack. New season. Oh, then I don't know who you're talking about. Then leave it to Beaner. I thought we we're talking about Mike who went out there and fucked up Jimena. I, I'm sorry. Yeah, it's not the guy I'm talking about. Um, what's up? I'm late. Starting at the beginning. Thumbs up, people, says Ford Blue Garage. Jared Wells says, some of y'all asking the wrong questions. I swear. It's on tonight. I'm not going to watch it tonight. I got shit going on. But <clears throat> I'll, I'll, I'll catch a replay. But yeah, it's the truth. Like, what are you guys asking these women? When you guys go on dates, right? When you guys go on dates and you sit down, do you say what's your favorite color? Do you say... What's the mo what's what are your hobbies? Or do you get down to the fucking nitty gritty? Hey, let me ask you a question. Um, you know, growing up, were you were you more closer with were you closer with your dad or mom? Do you have any siblings? And you start broaching the family stuff. You start talking about the family stuff. Unless you guys are just looking to fuck. If you guys are just looking to bang, then it doesn't matter. You can talk about whatever. But if you guys are out there moving a certain way and you want to get to know somebody, you gotta ask the right questions. I asked every single question to every girl that I meet in a different way, depending on how the conversation is going. But I want to know about their family, how they grew up, how their relationship with their father is, what they want out of life, what they, how they see, where they see themselves, themselves in five years. A lot of things. Um, Bench Murray says, I love this channel. Like, look, I don't understand how this Colombian chick, I know what she's going to do. She's going to end up going back to Colombia, back to living with her mother, back to having one kid, I guess one kid lives is like 21 or something. The other one's like 10. There's one night stand kid. And she's going to have to struggle. And she's going to either have to shack up with a Colombian dude or wait till she can reapply for a visa and get back here again and do it the right way. Or if she was smart, she'd get on those stupid dating apps, try to find a sucker ass hoe, just suck it up, buttercup. You're going to have to bang probably a fat motherfucker, an ugly motherfucker, a simpy beta dumbass motherfucker to get you legal. And you got to play the long game. Five plus years. Married, hang out, because he can annul the marriage. If he feels, if, if an American feels that he was duped into a relationship, they can literally annul the marriage. Guys, I love you. You got to start watching 90 Day Fiance. 90 Day Fiance is real life. And it, when it comes to the immigration stuff, 
And you know how many women, sad Alabama women, have brought Nigerians over, Iranians over, uh, Russians over, people from fucking Czechoslovakia over. Those guys romance that fat chick. They lay the pipe and then they, boom, dip out when they can. Now they're legal. They've made it here and they're good to go. Look, if I was another dude, if I was just like a real weirdo, I'd be like, yo, you want to come up here? Sure, I'll marry you. I'll, but I, my payment is sex, food, belly rubs, the girlfriend experience for an extended period of time. And you can get that citizenship. But I'm going to do me. But you got to be here taking care of this shit so you can get citizenship. I'm just not that dude, though. I'm just not a total piece of shit like that. I couldn't live with myself. But if I was another dude and I had the means, <laughs> be a fucking revolving door. <clears throat> what's up what's up bitch i was just hopping on um alex check your ig dms to send the link look if it's a guy that i'd never i've never like seen instagram.com it's probably a guy i've never seen never heard of it <sighs> nothing so we'll see we'll see what the deal is instagram probably tagged the wrong motherfucker too <clears throat> nope you didn't send shit nope you didn't send shit you're lying you're a lying motherfucker did you fucking tag me god damn it i hate when i get tagged dude i i thought you said instagram direct there's nothing. There's nothing. You're a liar. <laughs> There's nothing on my I, on my Instagram. Oh, I hate people. <laughs> Alex, check your IG. I sent you something. No, you did not. There's nothing there. You're a liar. Ah, oh, fuck, man. <laughs> like, I'm blown away that this Colombian girl is going to be in for the long haul. Then another girl that I talked to basically thought that I stopped talking to her because I have a problem dating alpha women. Guys, all the women I've dated are alpha women. Like every girl I've gone out with, I've perceived as strong, successful, and attractive. But if their situation is a kid or two, their time is limited based on their relationship with the kids and things they got to do. And I am, I can fit in where I can. Uh, yeah, no, I'm the guy that has to be chased, honey. I'm the guy that has to be, I don't got to chase you. What the? Why do I got to chase you? You're not available. You got kids. They're not mine. They're not my priority. They're your priority. So why should I make you my priority? I have to chase you because you got a lot of shit on your plate. Uh-uh. You ain't ready to date a guy of my caliber. You need to get yourself a beta simp ass hoe. So yeah. Anyway, guys, real quick. Have you guys been up as to what's happening with the Fresh and Fit guys? Have you guys been up on that um, drama because a lot of you guys uh, put me on to Fresh and Fit. And about two shows in, I said, these guys are fucking frauds, right? Like, these guys are too loud, too boisterous. Too... They got a, a lot of audiences, and they're out there, you know, most of their shit is like Jerry Springer stuff, which is fine. Look, whatever, whatever. Good. If you guys want to watch girls get fucking kicked out of the studio all the time, awesome. You guys were like, Alex, that show is legit. And I looked at it, and I'm like, it's fucking whack as fuck. It's just not for me. That's all. It's just not for me. So those dudes... I guess, started being um, exposed by the manosphere. People like Abba and Preach, um, Poor Man Podcast, O'Shea stuff, uh, and the lead attorney. You know, there's been a lot of stuff going on where they use the content and react to some of the shit that happens on the show. You know what they did? Do you know what they did at the same time? They went out and sent copyright removal requests to like four or five channels and YouTube in turn, cause YouTube is serious guys. YouTube is a mega business. YouTube because fresh and fit hired a lawyer and the lawyer sent out these letters to YouTube to each channel that had supposedly copied their content YouTube says, um, you need to show us what part of the content they used and how it's not fair use. And the person that's running the case for Fresh and Fit is a paralegal, not even the lawyer. It is a paralegal. And she went out there and cited, you know, links and all this bullshit. Anyway, YouTube said, unless you guys retract your copyright removal requests to Fresh and Fit, to the paralegal, your channel is going to get deleted in seven days. That's right. Your, your 
channel is going to get deleted in seven days if you do not remove your copyright request. Oof. That's why I, I, I don't do a lot of reaction stuff on this channel. The channel is all original content based on my experiences. It was ridiculous, ridiculous what they did. And uh, if you guys are not up on it, watch the lead attorney's last video. Go to the lead attorney, black guy, talking all that shit. It takes them about an hour and a half to get to the nitty gritty. Holy shit. I hope I never string out a stream that long to not give, give you any information. He is just out there yelling and screaming and playing sound clips. And I'm like, dude, get to the fucking point. How do you think you would do dating a beta woman? What do you mean a beta woman? Um, you mean someone that is nurturing, sweet, agreeable, and nice? I'd probably do well. But the women I was dating, I wouldn't say they're alpha women. I would say they were strong, successful women. But I think a woman can be both. I think a woman can be submissive to a man, but still handle her business in the professional world. I don't think it's one or the other. I think a woman can absolutely kill it in the in the in her field, whether it be medicine, whether it be law, whether it be anything, why can't they be super strong, successful women in their field? And when the man and her interact, she is submissive, agreeable, and inspirational and fit and nice and beautiful. Why can't she be both? Men have to be strong, masculine leaders, providers, and bring home the bacon. Why can't a woman do a similar thing, but be because in my opinion, a woman is more comfortable in her natural role. What do you mean natural role? What do you mean? You mean all women pregnant and pregnant and barefoot in the kitchen making you sandwiches? I didn't say that stupid. What I mean is it is natural for a woman to be demure. It is natural for a woman to be inspirational, supportive, agreeable. It is natural. But the moment you go... I'm a boss bitch. I'm going to twerk. I'm going to just have abortions. I'm going to get another abortion and another abortion. I'm going to fuck dudes, let them split back in me and get an abortion, 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 abortion because it's my right. Reproductive rights are my thing. I'm just going to kill all these fucking babies. Fuck you. How dare you judge me because I want to get abortions in the hot girl summer all fucking, all fucking summer. Say, well, excuse me? How, why the fuck are you moving? <laughs> I've literally come across women like that that are like, I can just... I'm like, whoa. And then I meet a woman that gets it. I like being submissive to a man. I like having a man in my life. I want to have a man in my life. I still have dreams and aspirations. But at the end of the day, I want to end up in a traditional relationship. <gasps> Where the fuck are you from? I just have a really good relationship with my father. Oh, ta-da. Isn't dating alpha women like dating a dude? Why not just go gay at that point? Yeah, the Baltic, bro. No, nah, you, you don't understand. You don't understand. There are lawyers. There are doctors. There are women that are out there in a professional capacity making way into the six figures. Then they come home and take care of business, cook, clean, support their man, agreeable, blah, 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 blah. It's not one or the other. Beta women in evolution succeed and that's okay. Fake and fraud says Rebel 6. Is dating an alpha woman like that? Oh, no, no, no. People are calling women alpha and beta now. No, I think women are just saying alpha. And when men like us, I don't say like us because I'm like, the, I'm not this top dog motherfucker, but men like us who do not take that shit, do not put up with that. I'm an alpha in the fucking professional world. So I'm an alpha in this relationship. Uh, cool. Uh, I... There isn't anything you can give me that I, in terms of possessions that I can't pay for. Like you can't buy a dude to buy you a house, right? Men provide the home. Men provide the house. Women make it a home. Men provide the goods. Women structure everything around that and make it family oriented, a home somewhere you can just kind of like make it your own, but the man typically is in his comfortable, natural role providing. If he works, puts his head down and can provide for something, whether it be you, his kids, or you and her and the dogs, or you and her or whatever, his focus is like on point. But if you're out there saying, you don't got to, I don't need nothing from you. I don't need nothing from you. I got my own. I got my own shit. I got my own shit. Shit, I got PhD. I have a... You start throwing that in the dude's face, you're going to be single real fucking fast with your PhD having ass and you better hope your PhD grows a dick. 
Because your PhD is not going to grow a fucking dick. Trust me on that shit. Trust me. And you're going to end up like every other chick at Square Grouper at midnight waiting for some dude with his nets out. And you can fall in it. And hopefully, hopefully he's dumb enough to wife you up with your alpha having ass. Danger zone. That is literally danger zone. When women are in that zone, they have this mindset that they, society puts so much pressure on us. Uh, not really. You just got to be super sweet and nice. And things will fucking work out. It's when you want to be just like a dude and start acting like a dude that shit gets fucked up. I saw a guy made his wife. Ma- I saw a guy that made his wife marry another dude for papers, and later, dude denied to give divorce to the man's wife. Oh, that's awesome. I saw a situation where a woman and a man got wifed up for papers. The dude started dating another Colombian chick that was better looking. When the divorce came to do the papers, she was jealous of the new girlfriend he had gotten. Meanwhile, these guys were not living together. They had totally separate lives, but they got married for papers. So when he started posting on Facebook pictures of his new girlfriend, shit, she's looking good as fuck. She got jealous and basically demanded half of his shit after the divorce when the when and then he couldn't admit that it was for papers because then he'd probably go to jail so he had to give up half his shit because he posted pictures of him and a hot chick and she got jealous bro could you imagine i do think okay what is severely lost in society is that a woman wasn't put on this earth to do everything a man can they're supposed they're supposed to do everything a man can't And women are now trying to blur the lines with sports. WNBA women are saying, we have just as good as basketball as men. Why don't we get paid as much? Go lay some brick. Go work in the iron worker field. Go become a welder. Go become a, uh, in the, the, um, what do you call it? Um, The pipe something field. (laughs) Um, Pipe fitting. Become a pipe fitter. Become a plumber. Become an exterminator. Become a uh, concrete be in, in a mason. Go, go ahead, honey. Let's see how long you last doing that shit. Not even a half day. Not even a half day. I do think my fiance is more relaxed when I look at her through the sandwich window. But I agree 100% that the traditional women are the best. Traditional women are the best. Guys, look. I have no problem taking care of somebody. But if they can take care of themselves and allow me to be masculine and take the traditional role while we're together. That's perfect. Yeah. You can go do your thing, pursue what you want to do, get your money. Awesome. But when we're together, I run the show and you got to be cool with that. And they're like, yep, I'm cool with that. I'm actually more comfortable in that role. I'm like, perfect. Perfect. I meant the alpha girls who call you bro. Uh, I don't know what he meant. Isn't dating an alpha woman like dating a dude? Why not just go gay at that point? And then you didn't say anything else until that. So I don't know what you're talking about. Leave it to Bean or Bing Bong. Exactly. Right on the money. Super late. Dropping a like. Starting from the beginning. Not a problem. Um, Just came. Thank you for speaking the truth. Says the void in my ass. (laughs) Um, Just came across your channel for date advice. Thank you, sir. Exactly. And Brandon Peter says, damn, watching late. Sup, y'all. So... This Colombian chick, the um, the one that is is pretty much on her last lifeline, her sister is kicking her out. Imagine, you're so religious and you're so into Jesus and you somehow pissed off your sister. You pissed off your sister who is putting you up in the place and because you started dating dudes and moving all types of fucking weird, now she's kicking you out and now instead of going, wait, honey, how can I fix this? Please, how can I fix this? I need to get right. She's kicking you out. Miss being Miss Miss Mary Poppins having ass religious super oh my god I'm so into God. Meanwhile you're out there dating fucking dudes and asking the one that told you to fuck off to help you get an apartment get the fuck out of here. That was a couple of weeks ago but I saved the receipts just to make sure that everything shook out properly. Beautiful beautiful. Just making sure that my P's and Q's are, you know, dotted my I's and crossed my T's. <clears throat> Damn, watching late. Sup, y'all? I already got that. Her sister can see through her BS. Good for her. Kylie Kelly. Yes. So her sister, I met her and she's very, she's very beautiful. She's a very attractive woman. 
her, they're both attractive women, but one of them was just moving weird. And I remember going on one of the dates and saw how bougie she was acting. And I thought to myself, if I had nothing in a foreign country, imagine somebody dropped me off in China right now and says, you got to make it in China. And I came across a successful upper middle class Chinese woman that kept things kind of tight. You don't think I'd be fucking acting straight ass like, yes, ma'am, whatever you want. Agreeable as all hell. She's my ticket. She's right there. She's my ticket to making it in this country. There it is. My ticket right there. She likes me. I, she comes from a good family. She has, makes good money and she's willing to provide. Oh my God. Apps of freaking lootly, whatever you want. Let me get to know the country through her eyes. And then if I want to dip out later, I have that option. Nope. She was all bougie, like, I, I, I deserve this because she thinks she's Columbia in, in Colombia. Like, New Yorkers come down here and they bring their New York bullshit every single time. And Florida checks them real quick. Honey, this ain't fucking New York. Shut the fuck up. Get your New York bullshit out of here. You come here, you have a clean slate. I think Colombian women come here and they bring their Colombia bullshit here. Their bougie lifestyle, their jet black hair, their sucked in fucking stomachs, their overinflated asses. And they go, well, yeah, I'm just a hot bitch. So I'm just going to move like a hot bitch in a foreign country. Yep. No, this country is going to chew you up and spit you the fuck out. This is a meat grinder here, honey. There are a lot of beautiful women in Florida. There's Russians, there's Ukrainians, there's Colombians, Venezuelans that come through and the dudes go, splick act, splick act, splick act, get the fuck out of here because a Greyhound bus with a new fresh batch is coming through. Now, if you move differently, if you are agreeable, demure, nice, understand that you have to take the back seat and find yourself a good dude to, to shack up with and you can get your shit straightened out, you'd go further. But no, they start moving like they're in Colombia. You're not in Colombia. You're not in Venezuela. You're not in wherever the fuck you're at or come from. So act accordingly. <clears throat> Israel says, is complex, girl the, uh, is complex girl the other, the one, the other guy asked you for advice on approaching her? No. No, 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 no. Uh, I don't think so. No, no, no. I don't think so. No. No. <laughs> There's another couple of girls that do the dog park thing, and I think one of the guys was uh, was about it. But I, I wasn't about, I was already talking to Complex. My, my, my vision was, I was super concentrated on her. I wasn't even looking at the other girls. I saw them there, but, you know, I was just, busy talking to her but i think he ended up mentioning them in passing like hey you know what, what do you think i should say to her and i'm just like i'll say hello just talk to her like a normal person but i i think the the the, the spit game the rap game you know rap into a girl leave it to me to knows what it means to say rap into a girl it's not literally rapping it's just like having that lingo to be able to you know get to know her but understanding making her understand that you're talking to her in a romantic capacity this isn't friend zone type shit God better have first last month's rent and security deposit for the new landlord. Potential spam. I think she's going to be in for a rude awakening when she finds a $700 room for rent and she has to come up with $2,100 to get in it. I think Colombians come here and they go, oh, $700? Here's $700. I'll stay in it. Uh, no, stupid. We're going to run your credit. We're going to do first and last in security. And she's going to go, their first day. What? I'm like, yeah. You, you got to be official. I'm not going to let some crackhead in here that has some money and rent my shit and tear it up without me knowing who the fuck they are. That holier than thou shit is funny thing, ain't it? When they come here, Colombian women come here from the, off the boat. They get off the fucking boat. They get off the raft and they come here strutting like their shit. I wish I can go on dating sites and find the girls that I'm, I'm talking about. I wish I can go out on all these dating sites and just highlight women that come here and they move a certain way. And I'm like, no, stupid. You come here thinking you're a movie star. This place is going to chew you up and spit you out. And you're, you're going to be a couple centimeters wider between your legs after it's all said and done. Because all the dick that's going to run through you while you're moving like a fucking princess. Good luck with that. Meanwhile, she probably has rooster lips down there. <laughs> Coyote Kelly. Those type of women that think their looks give them the right to act the way everywhere they go. Um, Angel Javel says, men give them the canelo. And Leave Tabina says, complex girl is what we refer to as a unicorn. And she actually called me that. 
And I was like, I guess, you know, 43, no kids, never married, make a good, make good money in Florida, no kids and just not moving in a trifling manner. I'm like, I'd like to think that I'm, I'm a gentleman. And I've always said, I've, when I meet a girl and I, and I treat her a certain way, I treat her like a gentleman, yeah, I treat her, I treat her like a lady and I'm a gentleman. But if I don't think you're a lady, I am not going to be a gentleman. You know what I mean? If I don't think you're a lady, the gentleman side of me doesn't come out. Um, sorry for not making sense in my questions. I'm currently working, so typing fast and short. Hey, the Baltic bro, no problem. You, you don't have to type questions. You can do it in the comment section afterwards. Guys, I reply to most of the comments. I don't delete the comments. I go out there and I try to answer some of the questions and the chat never ends. You can always go on the comment section about this video and we can get it popping in there. Um, their looks do give them the right to act the way though. Um, they're no, not in Florida, dirty varmint, not in Florida. Every girl here is hot. Every girl here is hot. Old women with big old knockers, Lily Pulitzer dresses, 50 something year old women, give them a run for their money. So you can't come here being illegal, acting like a fucking princess and thinking that men are going to fall for it. Men will make you think that they're falling for it. Oh, baby, you're so beautiful. Konya, you're beautiful. Oh, I give you whatever you want. You want citizenship? I give you two citizenship. Shit, I give you multi. I'll give you dual citizenship. I give you whatever you want, mommy. I love you. They go to church with you. These guys are out there going to church with you, going to going to dinner with you, going to meet your mom, meet your dad, meet your family. Then they go... <laughs> And you never hear from them again because you're moving like a bougie chick and he's playing, he's playing that. He's like, oh, you want to move bougie? I'll move bougie with you. And they know how to play the game. I just avoid that shit altogether. <clears throat> yeah, Alex likes the comments and reply to the ones needing a reply. Exactly. As long as you're in there and commenting and I am in there with you with the comments, I think it's a good time and we can just have a good time together. So as always, guys, my favorite part, because we're going to get right to it, boys. Yeah! Oh! Ah! <laughs> oh, move you around. Move you around. Oh my god, this girl is a fake crow. Alright, let's get to it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. It does like a delay. I don't know. OBS is acting up. I might have to reboot the computer or something. But let's get right to it because uh, I want to. I want to get done in a, in a good amount of time. I want to be available the rest of the night. You know what I'm saying? And uh, get you some bubble swipes coming at you, Laura. I like laughing and going on adventures, running and being outdoors. Animals, traveling, philosophy, yoga, cooking, eating, reading, music, podcast, learning, and IG. She wants a relationship. Thirty four years old. Nothing wrong with it. Oh my god, it's beautiful. She's, oh, she's in Denver, call her. She lives in Denver. She's here visiting. Guys, she wants that weekend, bitch. Oh, we'll see about that. Daily. I mean, I'm not going to hit it. Fuck all that. I got mine. Martine, 37. This is a guy, right? This is a guy? Is this a man? I think this is a man. It's a hombre. From South Africa, 5'11". Holy crap. 5'11"? 37? You're I'm going to give her half of the danger zone because she's almost in the danger zone. That's it. Oh, no. Stop. Jesus. This thing kept playing. I'm from South Africa. If we get each other's uh, humor, I'm in. Looking for my person. Not a pen pal. Uh, misrepresented images of you or someone who doesn't live in L.A. What the fuck? Why are you here? You're fucking... You got L.A. bullshit and you're in West Palm. You should put this shit in travel mode, stupid. I hate when people don't put it in travel mode. Put it in travel mode. Probably a fucking guy. Yada dee 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 I'm not going to do danger zone in Spanish. Stop it. Rita. 34, yada da dee da dee dee. Look at the, god damn it. You want to talk about trifling? She's got a yin yang sun tattoo. Oh my god, get the fuck out of here. MJ, 39 years old. Can I pull on that hair? Can I pull on that hair? Can I pet that dog? <laughs> Can I pet that dog? Sky, 33, red hair, green eyes. Wants kids, she's a Capricorn, West Village dweller. That means you're a liberal fucking dumbass. How, moderate in West Village? Man, boy, she is flat as a board. Boy, you got to eat some more meat, honey. Britt, 35 years old. Um, Smart, funny, blah, blah, blah. Uh, perfect, perfect. 
Perfect. Yeah, she's cute. Super cute. She the she gets way too excited about puppies. She's in West Palm Beach, but lives in New York. Get the fuck out of here, or I'm out. Get the f Terry. Stop it, Terry. Kim with the dumb sleeve tattoo, looking like a typical Del Rey native. Five five. Works out sometimes. Has kids. Doesn't want more. Is spiritual. You. I guarantee she's in Del Rey, right? Palm Springs. Where's Palm Springs, honey? Honey, honey. You're you're just. You're just moving the wrong way, honey. Love you. Gina, 37. She doesn't have kids because the body is tight, tight. But she is going to want them. Oh, oh, she surprised me. Surprised me. 5'5". Five, five. Uh, wants a relationship from Long Island. Lives in the Upper East Side. Loves short runs, long naps, good books, and trashy TV. She's cute, cute. She's going to make somebody happy in New York. She's a good-looking girl. Good for her. I ain't going to fuck with it. Kate, 39 years old. Come at you. East Coast girl who went from California to dreaming to... 39 years old. She is... Sucking on a red, white, and blue icy pop. Those kids are going to come out just like the icy pop. Red, white, and blue. Fucked up. Bobby retarded. Kid, 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 kid. <laughs> Bro... 39 and you want kids honey 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 it's over saka white body it's over it's over it's over it's over johnny oh man it's over nothing is over oh i got the video too nothing you just don't turn it off see i got that shit with video son vanessa 45 years old i'm all about fun nights and out and fun nights in oh the Chappelle show ending she this looks like a filter right guys hey guys is this a snapchat is this a Snapchat filter? Like, it doesn't look like her. It's got a bunch of bullshit going on, right? It's got a bunch of bullshit. Look at this. Oh, she's in Jupiter, but these pictures are telling me they're red flags. She's from Belize City. Boy, we'll see what the deal is. I'll let you know what happens. <laughs> Katie, 31. I hope you're the one on the right because the one on the left's legs are really, really skinny. You need a burger. We got to take it a habit burger. Yep, she needs a burger. At least I know where to take her on the first date, right? Look at her bag. Boy, that's so annoying when they got like a Gucci or something bag. It's just super annoying because it tells me you're a fucking cunt. Like the moment you have a, a Gucci bag on your shit, it immediately discounts you from being seeked out by someone like me, a blue collar dude. Um, Yat Yaindi, so she's cute. She's Cuban. I love doing different things all the time. Life, having all great moments and building memories. 32 years old, wants kids someday. You're getting close, honey. Sun's getting real low. Sun's getting real low. Yeah, the sun is setting. <laughs> Who, Melissa. Hi, Melissa. You're looking a little thoughtish. She got like a sleepy eye, right? Like her left eye is a little sleepy. Oh, she looks clear right here. Wow, she looks like a knockout here. The skin tone. Holy cow. Look at the fucking feet. Guys, 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 guys. If a woman got her feet on point, el toto está bueno. I'm telling you, if the woman's got her feet like that, toto's on point. Oh, my God. I know what her sperm looks like. Why are you showing me your fucking eight-year-old sperm? What is wrong with people? Oh my god, you're gorgeous. But I can see what I can see what Tony looks like. I can see what Mikey from the Jersey Shore circa 2005 looks like. What is wrong with women showing their kids on their fucking profiles, guys? Take it a water burger. Oof, if I want her onion breath, sure. Jenny, 41 years old. Uh yeah, no, no, I'm just gonna pass on her. <laughs> Oh, oh, 36 year old Jess, a chill yet smart woman who enjoys the beach, nature, and travel. I'm an adjunct professor in an entrepreneur Etsy store who will be able to work anywhere. Positive and authentic people only. I also have skydiving, fish catching photos as well, but they're on a flash drive buried somewhere. Wants a relationship, doesn't know if she wants kids. Honey, the kids are done. Kids are done. Enjoy this because you're going to start looking real old real fast because blondes with blue eyes hit the wall at 100 miles an hour. Nancy, got to go. 45 years old. Not even going to let... Lauren, hi with the flat tummy. Look at you go. Good for you with the... Is that your sperm? <laughs> Is that your sperm? <laughs> she's got a... She's got an interesting look, right, guys? She's got like a... She's like a dude, right? <laughs> I'll let you know if has a dick. Uh, Vanessa. Th <laughs> Vanessa's on a boat. She wants kids. She wants a relationship. She looks Colombian. She looks Colombian. Let's see. Lighthouse Point doesn't say. You know what's happening, guys? 
Colombian women are getting hip to the game that it is a negative. Listen, it is a negative that they are Colombian. Colombian women are figuring out that it is a negative to post that they are from Colombia because we are calling them out on their bullshit. We got to pass on this one. Thank you very much. Natalie, 37, coming at you. She wants kids someday. Ese nene. What's up, Lil? Retaldao. At 37 years old? Ese nene va a salir retaldao. Va a salir retaldao. I mean, come on. White. <laughs> White. Caucasian. <laughs> Live in Miami, 5.7, 5, 5.7, educated, well-mannered, into traveling, sophistication, classy, and genuine, family-oriented, prefer intelligent, well-mannered man with values and charisma, looking for a meaningful relationship. Honey, saca what body? The balloons look half deflated. You're not going to get a good guy at 39 years old to wife you up. You're not going to get a good high-end dude. Women at 39 years old better be dating dudes at 60-something years old or 37 years old. You got to date a 57-year-old dude, honey. 57-year-old dudes think you're hot. Sorry. Oh. <laughs> like, when you can see the outline of the belly button and it's past the tits, it's a bad look, right? Belly button, tits. If I put a straight edge from the belly button to the tits and there's a there's a, a gap skewing towards the tits, yeah, there's a problem. There's a problem. Samari, 44, got to pass on her. Daria, hi, Daria, 31 years old, got the rack. She's looking at my tits. And then they go, why are you looking at my tits? They're front and center. They're front and center. I'm a very laid back person. Laughing is very important to me. Very important to me. Very, very important to me. I'm looking for someone who I can laugh with. What the fuck? Do you want to just squat with comedians? Looking for a comedian. I want to laugh. It's very important to me. I want to laugh, laugh, and laugh, 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 and I laugh, laugh, laugh. Oh, honey, you look like a fucking rag, honey. You got to work on your shit. Honey, 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 honey. We, I can't laugh with you. I can't laugh. How can I make you laugh? <laughs> come on. I mean, come on, Carlito. Uh, this is the only type you're going to get, bro. <laughs> okay. Onika. <laughs> I mean, the whoa! Oh, look at this athletic woman with the fucking legs looking like a Clydesdale. Look at the tummy. Look at the chest. She's athletic, but she's got a, uh, a board, so that's a problem. Caddy. Katie, 34 years old. Caddy baby. Oh, my. Be still my heart. See, guys, this is, yeah, I was going to say, this is not a real thing. There's no way this is a real situation. She is almost too perfect. It's almost as someone built a woman exactly for me, and I know it's a motherfucking trap. When I see women like this, I go, this is a fucking trap because there's no fucking way this is a real person. You know what I mean? Like, you gotta, you gotta know. You gotta know when it's a trap. <laughs> is there, it doesn't come up. It's a trap. It's totally a trap. Get out of here. Annalisa, 29 years old, coming at you. We got, uh, oh my God, Insta thought having a dog isn't a personality trait. Actually, it is, honey. Honey, my dog got me super, super social. So fuck you, Annalisa. Get the fuck out of here. Elizabeth, 22. Oof. But again, I wouldn't date her. She's showing too much. She's looking thoughtish. She's looking, she's looking un poquito de la calle. You know what I'm saying? A girl of many talents. Yes. Yeah, sucking dick two at a time. The quickest way to my heart is being funny. Again, comedian, comedian. How about being rich? How about if I can pay for a fucking comedian to come here and juggle shit in front of you so you can fucking laugh? Oh my God. Yeah, you're looking, you're Doral. Forget it. She's looking, she, guarantee she's Colombian. Um, Mia, no thank you. Tuya. <laughs> what? Why did she do that? Why did she blur out a picture of her license? What is happening? Oh my God. What? Is, 43. Oh, are you trying to prove you're 43? Honey, we know you're 43. <laughs> Them, them crow's feet tell us you're 43. I'm newish to the area and I'm sure not going to date people at school. So I don't have kids if that matters. I kind of want a cat. Liberal. Oh, yeah, you waited way too long. While you were out there marching for women's rights, hating on Donald Trump, having abortions, and talking shit about men, how much of a piece of shit they are, this is what your final form is. Ladies, you want to see your final form if you're out there marching against Trump? If you're out there talking about reproductive rights, if you're out there talking about women's equity, this is your final form. Yep, this is your final form. Take a good, hard look at this woman, guys. Ladies, take a good, hard look at this woman. At 43 years old, she wants a cat. It's 
over. Saca el party. It's over, Johnny. You're done. And that you are taking your final form. It's over, Johnny. It's over. It's, it's over. over. <clears throat> Nothing is over. Oh. Nothing. We just can't turn it off. You just don't turn it off. Olivia, we already saw her, right, guys? I think we're running out of women. We saw her last time, right? I said she was odd looking. She was like thick looking, right? And her eyebrows. Yeah, yeah, yeah. She was like thick looking and I couldn't really get a good sense of her. Or did I not see her on the chat last time? Yeah, there we go. Yeah, I remember that ass. I was like, yeah, like if you were to just see this photo, guys, you would have thought she was lean with a good rack. And this photo, eh, kind of caterpillar eyebrows, but decent. And then you get to the end and you're like, oh no, that ass is not even round. Like, I don't know what the fuck happened there. Oh, get out of here, Sammy. Sammy, get out of here. She was out there going against Bush Sr., not Trump. She was still too old for Trump, <laughs> says Oscar Agueda. Good shit. Submissive unicorn. Girl, unicorns don't have that. How about submiss submissive Botox? What is happening with your forehead, bro? Oh my God, honey. Oof, submissive as if to say, I'll do everything you want and get tied up. Get out of here. Le Leha? Le Lega? What is that? I-T-P-L-D-E. Is that like a, a power plant? Is that like the, 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 the light bill? Power and light? You know, <laughs> I have an outgoing personality. I don't care. I don't care. It says it says wine lover. How about chocolate and sandwich and burger lover? <laughs> oh, Alex, you're so mean. No, I'm just stating out the fucking obvious. Kristen is 40. She's going to want kids because those arms are tight. Those arms are tight. Kids have never come out of her vagina. Boom! Alex with another one. Happy, honest, fun-loving girl who is searching for a partner in crime and future best friend for life. I am, I'm not going to be your best friend. I enjoy a good workout, travel music, the ocean, and spending quality time with my family and friends. I want kids. Let's look at her. Oh, my God. Dude, guys, she's a knockout, but she wants kids. Where's she at? Lives in Boston, is in Jupiter. Honey. The ship has sailed. It's over. Them, you're beautiful. You're gorgeous. You're going to make a 60-year-old man very, very happy because it's over. 60-year-old dick is going to go in your vagina. Those arms are going to stay tight because no kid's going to come out of vagina because you're old, you're old, you're old, old, old. Oh, good shit. Good rhyming skills, Alex. Come on, let's get the fuck out of here. Couple more. We'll end it there. Um, we got Katarina, 32 years old. Boy, thin, rack, got the jumpsuit. Boy, she's fucking knock knockout. Ukraine! Living in California. Happy mom of a five-year-old boy, Jaden. Oh, no one's ever named their fucking kid Jaden. What a unique name, Jaden. I've never heard the name Jaden. Fucking stupid. Career driven. Successful, positive, intelligent, down earth. No, you're not. No, you're not. No, you're not. You know why? Big could you on bumble. To be able to fall asleep and look at I know her sperm looks like. Beautiful kid. Good for you. Get the fuck out of here or I'm, I'm going to fuck you out. Danielle, 45. You're the one in the middle. You're the blonde in the middle. Nope. You're the scary one on the left. Holy shit, son. What happened? Oh, my God. Look at her crazy eyes. She looked crazy as fuck. Who's that? I don't see over here. She looked crazy as fuck. Oh, my God. She looks absolutely nutty. She looks nuts. Could you imagine meeting her on a date and her eye, you see the whites around her eyes? Yeah, I need to do about people. Ashley, 26. Hey, now we're talking. She, see, you know what's funny? Women in their 20s, they ain't putting want someday on their fucking profile. They ain't putting quiero un hijo ahora. They're probably just out there experiencing life. But women in their late 30s or 40s, want someday, want someday, want someday. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Look at this girl. She's beautiful. Good for her. We'll see what the deal is. Melanie, again, 22, ain't going to say nothing about no kids. Exactly. Young girls don't talk nothing about no kids. I'm never on here, so shoot me a message. Insta thought. We'll get the fuck out of here. Lindsay's 40, relationship, great eyes. A little old because you got a little too much sun. Uh, this is not you. This is your daughter. Could you imagine she is 40 and she puts a picture of her daughter and she looks like that? Fuck, that's going to be a problem. You don't want a problem, problem. Ooh. And you don't want to fuck with me. I mean, come on. Imagine I go to her house. I get up with that fucking long bitch, y'all, and get some orange juice downstairs. And the daughter is there with her pajamas. Shit, girl, you see this dick through these jogging pants? You see that little bump way the fuck down by the thigh? I was just in your mom. Do you know what I'm saying, baby? Oh, my God. She likes sushi. Oh, she got a cooling. She got decent cooling on her. From Cartagena. So the Cartagena de la Indias, eh, Colombia. We'll see what the deal is. Lauren finally had her baby, guys. Guys, we're gonna spend a little time 
with Lauren. I met Lauren. I met Lauren. Wait, she did not have her baby. Did she have her baby? Is this her baby? Does it say she had baby? Let me see. Not sure yet. Okay, this girl, guys, I met her. Had a four-hour date with her. You know what the deal breaker was? Kids, 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 kids. A beautiful woman in person. Great conversationalist. Look at that smile. Look at those teeth. Look at the eyes. Look at the hair. Now, admittedly, she was a little on the chubbier side in person when I met her, but she told me that before I met her. But she was moving all the proper ways until, bum, 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 she wanted kids. Guys, that was over two years ago. Two years ago, I met her. Still doesn't have the kid potentially, unless she had the kid and that's her kid. I don't know. Interesting. So Lauren, uh, if you got your kid and you're back on Bumble, try Flynn. I am not wrong when I talk about this, but hey, if that's your kid, Lauren, congratulations. If that's not your kid, I met you two years ago and you're still no closer to having yourself a kid. A lot of people think I'm full of shit when it comes to that. A lot of people think I'm full of shit when it comes to the kid thing and they think I overhype and overconcentrate on the kid thing. But guys, I'm never wrong. That woman two years ago was begging for a baby daddy and she's still on Bumble potentially with a kid or still looking for a guy to give her a kid. Unfucking real. All right, guys, I'm going to get the fuck out of here. Sacabo el party. I got some notifications. I got to get going. Uh, appreciate you guys hanging out. We talked about Colombian girl getting checked by her sister. Coming down here with looking instead of instead of getting her job and shit situated situated she was trying to date dudes and her sister called her out on it and she hit up a guy that told her to fuck off to try to help her find an apartment could you imagine being in that position i'm gonna be on tomorrow on the other channel five o'clock p.m ydbt dailies and maybe do a uh, another tdc maybe wednesday or thursday try to do three or two a week just to keep it going until i can Give you guys more content. All right, guys, I'm going to get the hell out of here. Have a great rest of your Sunday. Thank you for joining me, hanging out for a little bit. I'll see you guys tomorrow on the other channel. If not, I'll see you guys midweek sometime back on this channel. Talk a little more shit. And have